hello friends and welcome to bispsolutions.com with my business partner tricon technology my name is amit and today i am going to show you how to write business rule for calculating operating expenses adjustment we will be using planning and budgeting cloud service interface and i would write a logic and associate this calculation with my data form and finally we'll test it so before we proceed and i show you how to write calculation i like to show you the business requirement therefore it is easy for you to understand so i already open a data form into my smart view you can see over here in this data form there are different kind of operating expenses these are different operating expenses and we have got different plan this is plan which is gray color it it means the data is coming from your source system or we made our plan data as read only we cannot modify our plan data directly we have an adjustment plan user planner can input numbers into adjustment and post adjusted value would be shown over here under revised plan for example i would like to modify my rent expenses without changing the actual value so this is my working plan for rent expenses i want this value to be revised by 1000 so i input 1000 over here and upon submit a business rule would be returned would be executed and 1000 plus 23109 this would be add up and turns out to be 24109 it means you like to maintain without modifying the actual plan you like to perform adjustment and post adjusted value called revised plan would be shown over here revised plan and plan both of them are marked as read only only plan adjustment data can be input so let's see how to do this first you need to log into your planning and budgeting cloud service interface and then you can start your business logic you can start your rule over here in this rule i am going to use a variable for version called working version current scenario or current version i'm going to use this substitution variable in this calculation let's open the rule and start writing step 1 i write rule and then i associate with data form in right click and start a new rule name your rule so i'm going to name it as test operating expense adjustment version 1 this is the beauty of uh, writing rule in your browser based interface that they, you don't need to memorize any syntax all the objects are given over here you can simply drag and drop and use it so you can use existing objects as given over here like allocate set command or you can use object from here so i'm going to use a set command object starting with and because i'm not allocating this therefore i turn on the entry turn on aggregate missing and you can also select other properties like create block update calc of if you are new to this please watch my previous videos where i talked about different kind of set command and how to use them so i use a set command and then i want the whole calculation to be taken place only for specific subsection of my queue this is what i want my adjustment plan will add up 
with my working plan and my revised plan actually equals to plan plus adjusted plan this is what I want to achieve revised plan equals to plan plus adjusted plan so I want the whole calculation to be taken place only for a specific scenario and version so that you use fixed statement which we called over here member range drag and drop member range function and apply expression I want the whole calculation to be taken place only for operating expense so operating expense you can select it a member of your account dimension select member if you remember the path the parent of operating expense you can select it alternatively you can search it over here I want this should calculate for all the children or descendant of operating expense so I use descendant of operating expense I descendant of operating expense and I want this to be executed only for version working version so you have two option you can select a constant from here select member name sorry it's a scenario it's a version you can select a specific member or you can use a variable because I want my calculation to be dynamic therefore I'm going to use a variable over here So in order to use a variable you need to the variable name you apply ampersand and name of variable name of variable current version remember this is substitution variable you can refer my previous example of how to use variable from the variable which you declare within your rule save this as you proceed the script will continue to render under the fixed expression I want to apply the formula so drag and drop formula and my formula is fairly straightforward I want to calculate revised plan which is actually so you want to calculate revised plan you can select a member revised plan equals to plan you can select or you can type it directly plus adjusted plan and I want to make sure that I'm going to calculate this before I use adjusted plan it should be modified value so I first make sure the adjustment plan has a updated value therefore I use adjusted plan over here so first adjusted plan to be calculated if there are certain expression or rule attached with this followed by revised plan save this Finally, I like to ensure that my calculation to be taken place for only selected scenario. Therefore, I apply another member range function and I limit my 
calculation for a specific scenario which is adjusted plan revised plan and working version which is your variable current version and this whole calculation to be impacted only for children of operating expense so drag and drop at the formula for operating expense this will impact only operating expense so you can search and add it over here operating expense and all the descendant of operating expense so you can manually type over here at the rate i descendant and save it validate for any syntax error you can also toggle between design mode to edit script mode and validate for any syntax error. Validation passed, no error. And finally, I deploy and associate this business rule, this rule with my data form. So I should have canceled it. Anyways, right click and deploy your rule. This is my rule, right click and deploy. Deployment successful and the final step you associate this with your data form. So I already created data form, the one which I showed you in the beginning of the session. Open data form, uh, open an edit mode and associate business rule. Operating expense adjustment. This is my data form. Operating expense plan adjustment. Select this and click on edit and finally associate business rule you scroll down you find it in the bottom once it is done you can exit this and open your smart view in a excel so i already opened this in an excel because I modified it, so therefore I'm going to disconnect all session and connect again. You need to refine credentials. So define the credentials. You connect it. And then you can open your application. Your data form under form section select the data form the one which we created operating expense plan adjustment right click and open it I need to close this excel sheet and open it again And now you would input number to your adjustment plan and it will modify your revised plan. So take any operating expenses. Let's take uh, office supply and we see the monthly value. This is January month value for office supply, which is row number. Let's take telephone expenses, row number 11. 
24497. This is my working expenses. I would adjust these expenses. Two four four nine seven. I add up one thousand over here. That was a month expenses, one thousand. And I write back. And on the adjustment, revise plan. You can see this revised value. So I will input value to my operating expense. Telephone expenses, which is twenty-seven four nine seven. I input the value as adjustment one thousand. So twenty-seven four nine seven turns out to be for twenty-eight four nine seven. Upon submit, the business rule would be invoked, and plan plus adjustment would sum up. And result would be revised plan. So twenty seven four nine seven plus one thousand twenty eight four nine seven. So this is how you can revise your adjustment without modifying your actual plan. Thanks for joining today's session. Should you have any question, please feel free to write to us. www.bispsolutions.com. Thank you.